Energy Schools Innovation Project is fully aligned to our SASO um, Solar Challenge to have learners from both high school and primary school involved in innovating on alternative sources of energy. It makes it clear that the just transition will not leave anyone behind. It will be just and fair. It's a great experience whereby I learned how to use different tools and to connect each component of the car which I've never used before and how to think abroad and to create something wonderful that's going to work in the near future. We know that in order for you to be successful in whatever that you want to build, you need to have a mindset of coming up with a solution, a mindset of knowing that whatever it is that you have to do, whatever it is it takes, just go for it. We need to re-emphasize with our learners uh, how innovation in terms of technology and making sure that they follow their careers in terms of technology has an influence on what they need to do. The opportunity that's been offered to the children is absolutely fantastic. We were able to bring these eight schools and uh, show them what it enhances and it is absolutely fantastic having you here. You're going to see there's going to be five stations there. In grade 7 we're in technology. We are at the moment busy with uh, children uh, working on uh, energy projects. And one of them is power of, from the sun, especially uh, for them seeing these cars can move without uh, sources like um, petrol or diesel. So definitely they believe really the teachers and what the teachers are telling them. This is a great opportunity for our school, for my school, also for the other schools that also part of the community. We are currently looking out to, be, uh, to become part of the STEM program so that we can introduce robotics at the school as part of the curriculum. My favorite station here was the solar and I like the cars a lot and I love it, I love it. Solar energy is the future. Technology is now 